Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. We're still talking football with head coach Shane Richardson. Coach, the Pioneers scored first on this one on a three-yard uh, run late in the first quarter, but the Braves nodded things back up on a six-yard run by quarterback Seth Owen on the ensuing possession. How pleased were you with the way your team responded? Very pleased. Uh, we All year we've been talking about how if things go wrong, we're just going to stay the course, we're going to respond to adversity, and it's not going to bother us. And uh, we have a saying where we want to play our best on this play. And so no matter uh, what the previous play gave us, whether it was good or bad, uh, we want to come back and really try to just be extremely consistent and play our best on, on this particular play. And I think that uh, response was indicative of to how we talk about and how we train our mentality. Well, Tusculum adds another score right before the half on a 21-yard strike from Kyle Dickey to Wesley Powell, but the Braves are very much still in this game at the intermission. What were some of the adjustments your staff made at the break, particularly at the quarterback position? Well, we knew that Seth was going to be uh, in question. Uh, he had an injury there, and uh, we, we knew that he, he actually had to go see the doctor at halftime, and so we figured that he would be out. And so uh, we had made plans to go with Reggie and Andrew, and uh, and on that particular occasion, we felt like we really needed to run the ball, uh, considering the field conditions, considering just kind of what we needed to do to control the game. And Andrew came in and, you know, he really gave us our best threat and best opportunity. And he took it and he went with it. And we were very, very pleased to see how he really responded to that. And um, couldn't be more pleased with uh, how he responded to the quarterback position and what we gave him. Well, Andrew Goodman plays all of the second half under center for you and leads the Braves uh, to their first fourth quarter points of the season early in the fourth quarter when Tamari White ties the game on a six-yard run with 725 left. What was the energy like on the sideline at this point in the game? Very high, very high energy. Uh, and it was very uh, encouraging to know that all of our sideline guys were engaged, they were excited and it really just exemplified their desire to want to win the game. And they were, um, I think they could feel it on that drive. You know, we continued to kind of methodically run the ball. And, you know, as a defense, we understand if we're getting the ball ran on us, it's very demoralizing and it really discourages you. But uh, on the offensive side of it, we felt like it was really giving us the morale and we could tell that it was really kind of discouraging to their defense. And so I think that really energized our guys and it was a great building block for us. Well, the Braves get a 48-yard field goal from Connor Haskins on the opening possession of overtime and look to have shut down Tusculum by forcing them into a fourth and long on their possession before Kyle Dickey launches a prayer into the end zone and Dion Hicks comes down in bounds with a 27-yard game-winning touchdown reception. What did you tell your team after the game, and how do you build on this heading into the last two games of the season? Well, uh, well what I told our team was that play didn't lose the game for us. And even though uh, you, you wish that we had stepped up in that moment and somebody would have came through to make a play, uh, there were a handful of other plays as well that could have affected the outcome of the game. And so, of course, that play at the end was critical because that was the last one and the game was on the line at that particular moment. But there were other plays where we had uh, some of our best players that really didn't come through and could have made a difference in some situations. And uh, we gave up two touchdowns previous to that as well. And so if we could have stopped one of those touchdowns, it could have been a different result uh, as well as if we would have stopped the last one. And so just made sure that the guys knew how proud I was of their effort. And I really felt like the desire to win was there today uh, on Saturday. And their, their competitive spirit was very... Uh, apparent in, in just how we performed and so they really deserved to win the game they did they did everything that they could and uh, unfortunately it just didn't go our way and it wasn't meant to be and uh, their prayer was definitely answered. Well let's take some time and pull some individual performances from Saturday's game. I'd like to start with Andrew Goodman who uh, ran your offense for the second half and into overtime. Talk about his performance and the leadership he showed against the Pioneers particularly in directing the game tying drive in the fourth quarter. Well he, he really showed uh, just initiative and great courage of stepping in there and being able to really take over the reins and uh, and not only that, he really ran tough, and, and he has a big body that he can use, and he was able to fall forward on a lot of those runs, and uh, I told him after the game, after we got home, and 
Uh, I told them how proud I was of just the effort and the courage and just staying the course. And he was a guy that didn't get a whole lot of reps last week in practice. And so it was very nice to see that he actually prepared himself mentally and he was ready to step into that position. And uh, I think that's a very good morale builder and it's a very good example of what our team needs to be for uh, a guy that maybe doesn't start but needs to be ready at all times. All right, well, we're going to take our next break, and when we come back, we're going to see some highlights from the game against Tusculum, so stay tuned.